दिस वीडियो यू नो अबाउट वाट साइज लंबर कैन स्पेन ट्वेंटी टू फुट डिस्टेंस हियर यू हैव द क्वेश्चन टू डिटरमाइन द लंबर साइज रिक्वायर टू स्पेन ट्वेंटी टू फुट डिस्टेंस इन दिस वीडियो यू नो अबाउट द फ्लोर जोइस साइज रिक्वायर टू स्पेन ट्वेंटी टू फुट डिस्टेंस द सीलिंग जोइस साइज रिक्वायर टू स्पेन ट्वेंटी टू फुट डिस्टेंस द राफ्टर साइज एंड द बीम साइज वाट विल बी बीम साइज रिक्वायर टू स्पेन ट्वेंटी टू फुट डिस्टेंस एंड वाट साइज ऑफ लंबर आर रिक्वायर्ड नाउ फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द डिफरेंट डायमेंशन फॉर द लंबर this one is rough diagram and the dimension that consist of the length width and their depth suppose this is the length section of lumbar that is about 22 foot and this one is the width you have to figure out and this one is the depth section of lumbar you have to determine it and this this is the dimension of lumbar and the size of lumbar means you have to determine width section and depth section of lumbar now the lumbar size depending on many factor what are the factor that decide the lumbar size the first that is what are the spacing between the joist the center spacing you know that it will be 16 inches or either 12 inches on center and the second major factor what will be the load that consist of live load and the dead load that should be 50 pound per square footage and third one that is deflection limit that should be l by 360 or l by 240 and the fourth one the type of dimensional lumbar means types and grade of wood this is the major factor that this determine the lumbar size required to spend 22 foot distance as floor device ceiling device rafter and beam size now first uh, floor device size what will be the size of floor device because 22 foot is longer span that's why the general dimensional lumbar spaces will chance of sagging that's why the general lumbar space does not taken for longer span like 22 foot distance because the floor joist bear more loads the load that is about 50 pound per square footage and the deflection limit that is l by 360 and the spacing between the joist that is 12 inches on center this condition you should take 2 inch by 12 inch dss southern pine spaces for the longer span like 22 foot distance it means you need 2 inch by 12 inch dimensional lumbar of southern pine dense selected structural wood spaces required to span 22 foot distance and now the second that is ceiling joist size what will be ceiling joist size this is first the load condition it bear only the load of ceiling and the roof that's why the load here that is 30 pound per square foot and the spacing between the joist that is about 16 inches on center and the what will be deflection limit that is about l by 240 and what will be the ceiling joist size you should take 2 inch by 10 inch dimensional lumbar dss southern pine this species and grade of wood like 2 inch by 10 inch dense selected structural southern pine wood species required to spend 22 foot distance as ceiling joist now the rafter size what will be the rafter size the similar condition the load that is 30 pound per square footage and the spacing between the rafter that is 16 inches oc and the deflection limit that is l by 
you should take two inch by ten inch number one grade species of southern pine as rafter to spend twenty two foot distance. This is the size of rafter required to spend twenty two foot distance at sixteen inch OC. And now what will be the beam size? Because the beam will required in double or triple lumber species because it will chance of sagging that's why we take engineer would require to 22 foot distance like the lbl that is laminated veneer lumber of thickness three and half inch by nine and half inch deep this is the nominal depth of this lbl that is 10 inch and the nominal width of this lbl is 4 inch this size of lbl beam required to spend 22 foot distance and this is the different size of joist and beam required to spend 22 foot distance thank you